So I gave you demos, how to create demos, which is your stage select and your character select. A game over screen is nothing but a game over screen. Like right here, you see game over. I can literally do that in seconds. Game over. I didn't want to add an image. Delete. DMP. Open. Get out of that. Go to text. You know, I saw game over. Nope, nope. There it is. We'll pick this one. Game over. There's no background. This is going to be dumb. Add game over. Add continue. Add Yes, no. I'm gonna add the game over. I'm gonna add continue. And because I'm lazy, we're gonna do yes, no. All in one. Okay. We'll put the game over here, right on top. Continue, somewhere around there. Yes, no, somewhere around there. Oh, I did that all by guessing. I'm, I guess I'm just that damn good. Worship me. Okay. And then finally, we need a background to put all of this behind, or in front of. Otherwise, we'll get that weird uh, thing. And these backgrounds suck, so I'm going to go back to my sources. Here. Sources. UI. Not select. View. Large icon. And we're going to pick... This because it works. Because I know it works. Added that whole giant purple just so I have a transparency. Beautiful. Condition, or uh, script. Now I gotta loop all of these images. Again, I'm just gonna copy and paste to make things faster. Go back. Redo the redirect because it's all going to the basic BG. Oops. Well, that works too. All right. No, not save as. File, save. Hit the animation. There you go. Nice little game over screen. Add that to here. Go to basic script. Let's get our continue cursor. And now we have a continue cursor. Position. It does somewhere around here, I'll say. And it does not somewhere around here. Something like that. Oops, too high. Eh, this one can move over and down. Down. Yeah, something like that. And that is it. So these are just positions. These will be empty. You can't even click in these boxes. But the cursor itself is over here. So it's just like the position story mode. Now, in order to test this, you obviously need to go and make a story mode and, well, lose. So that's what we're going to do. We will go save. We will go into character one, which is our Associate Day clone. Is he available for versus mode? No, he's not. So, let's make everybody available for versus mode. Just because. Okay. File, save. Now, in order for us to test our continuous screen, we need a story mode. So, let's go in here. Tick off story mode. Now, you have four options in story mode. Special fight, special demo, diversion, and end. That's all you have. 
Special fight is your fight. Special demo is your demo. Diversion is if an if and state or if or statement. So I'm sorry, not an if or statement. If then statement. If a certain condition is meet, then do this. Actually, if else statement. Yeah, let's go with that. A little bit of programming lingo. If this happens, do this. El else, you will go somewhere else. So, let's do a... Normally, what would happen is, like, in your demos, you would make a cutscene. Now, I will not cover how to do cutscenes. That's more of a creativity thing. But understand right now that a cutscene is nothing more than moving pictures. So, if you are familiar with GIFs, which are a bunch of pictures that are moving just frame by frame really quickly in succession, that is what you're doing here. It is an, you're making a GIF. The unfortunate part is you are, each command line is uh, limited to 255 images. So if you're going to have a long behind GIF, then it's not going to work. Which brings me to my next point. A lot of people just use still pictures with dialogue boxes because of how limited demos are. So I'm not going to make a cutscene demo because that's going to take way too long. And I literally mean way too long. But it would be usually like special demo. You would pick your demo and it would be a cutscene. We're going to delete that out. So we will go straight into add a fight. So add the character you want to fight. I know Soshin Day is the only one with a AI. So we're going to take that out. Pick his computer level, which you can pick up to 100 or 0. If you pick 0, I believe he's going to stand still, but well, I don't know. So we're going to pick 100. His starting position is... Oh, look at that. It, t it tells you. So 640 is the, st is the right side and 0 is the left side. So we're going to go like 70. No, wait, hold on. 640? I'm sorry, not not 70. That's still on the left side. So we're going to go around 400. So we're going to set that to 100. Last attack given is the victor. There will be a win pause and a win time. Now, I believe it's set the enemy. And if you don't... This one got me confused the first time I did it. it. Set the enemy is not set who this enemy is. It's who do are they think who do they think is the enemy? So in this case, it's the player. Okay. Now we're we've have we have our computer set up. You can have up to seven, which it's yeah. So you can have like eight players in the screen. I one time did like. Four and four, it was pretty neat, but it was just chaotic. Not to mention, like, I had a victory con I had to set a victory condition for everybody where it's like, if this guy dies, the match isn't over. All four of them need to die. It was, it was funny, but it took way too much time. So, let's pick a, st you need to pick a stage, obviously, for this to work. So, I'm going to pick that, yeah, that one. Our time will be 100 seconds. Two rounds, the first round. I don't remember what that is. I will get back to that. I will check my game for reference. Yes, we want our life to recover unless you're doing some kind of like tower mode where as you go through the fights, the HP just stays the same. So... Or, well, actually in tower mode you can go, like, they would heal a little bit. So, like, instead of a zero carry over, you can do recover, but only do, like, 5% recovery. So, when they're defeated, we'll pick our game over. Player position will start, uh, let's go with, like, 70, like you said. CPU. Okay. CPU wins. Chosen the round number, fighting spirit, and wall. You must activate wall, otherwise they will they will walk off to the left and right. 
So if my memory did everything correctly, we should now have a working story mode battle for Mr. Character 1. Interesting. Huh. I love how that game over screen just took over my demos. All right. Let's try that again. So I know character one is our guy. So let's select him. Ooh. That's interesting. What happened? I know he has a story mode. Why did that not activate? And then it goes straight back. Oops. I meant to go back here and see what happened. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, so as you, I'm clicking on these other character, quote unquote characters, and nothing happens. But when I click this guy, it turns gray, meaning it was accepted. But why is story mode going straight back here is my question. Let's go back to my main game again for reference. Just to see if I did some, set up something wrong. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, he has one. Okay. One hundred, five hundred twenty. Uh, 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 okay. So seven sixty. Oh, okay. Back there. Okay. I find it very interesting that Searching Day doesn't have a story mode because I'm pretty sure I set up a story mode, at least for the arcade edition of my demo. For everybody. Which, yeah, I did. I don't know why he doesn't have a story mode. That's interesting. But, let's just make sure that I'm not crazy and this actually works. Sorry, huge game. Gonna take a minute to load. Or it may crash. Or it may take a minute to load. It should not take this long. Hmm. There we go. So we'll pick Wonka. Loading screen. Yeah, story mode works perfectly fine. So, I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe it does need a demo to start it up, which I can't imagine why. Uh, characters, that's where I want to go. But, just in case, we'll do add demo. Demo one again. We'll add a dummy image, which will be this. We're gonna make it last three, uh, four seconds, I guess, since that's what I clicked. And we're gonna go add special demo. Demo one. Save. If that ends up being the issue, then I learned something. No. Oh. Hmm. This is actually quite odd. I've never had... I mean, actually, I just did it on the stream. As you can see, that everything is set up to, uh... Everything is set up to, uh, for the story mode. And I've opened up my game to, uh, show you that, yeah, it's how I set it up. So I'm not too sure why <clears throat> that it's just wrapping out like that. 
Use story values of the item over here, number of files. So, cursor stays until the game starts. Awesome. Okay. Don't need any of that. Yeah, on a, honestly, these are just visual things, so that shouldn't matter. These are actual visual things. Those are positionings. These are visual. Yeah, none of that should matter. So I don't understand why my demo is actually not working. Well, Soshin Day works. Or let's pick our training stage. Sure. Maybe that's the problem. Was that our, was that the test stage we made? No, that's the test stage we made. Okay. The new stage one. Save. Whoa. Well, he just ruined everything for God knows what reason. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess I need character one to have a story mode. Okay. That makes little to no sense, but sure. That was more than four seconds. The show disappeared. Well... Let's delete it. So now theoretically, I should just go in here, select my test character. There we go, right into a fight. And now Soshinde's AI is going. And he is just attacked. The reason why none of the attacks are actually hurting my test character is because Soshinde's uh, hurt, uh, whatchamacallit, so Shinde's uh, reactions are not in him, so this is just a demonstration of how important reactions are. And also, yeah, So Shinde is really that fast in my game. It's so much fun to play him. Alright, we got story mode going. 